Oh boy, oh boy. It is one of those days where things are just acting crazy. All right. I think I'm live. Let me see. It's just been, been a crazy day, guys. So, here's what we're going to do. Somebody is going to let me know if they got audio. Jim, do we have audio? Because I can't hear nothing. Okay. Woo! It's crazy today. We should be hearing music. We should be seeing me. <laughs> Talk to me, hustlers. Can anybody hear that famous theme music that you love so much? You love. Let me say hello to a few of the hustlers out here. Before we get started, we're going to give it a quick minute because it looks like everybody's out here ready to go. Deborah. Thank you so much for coming, girl. Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony has done it again. You out here. All right. Jim says it's good. Jim is our producer. Maureen, thank you for coming. Of course, Miss Sheila. Uh, who else we got? El Compasin. Thanks for coming. Who else is out here? Sonia. Hey, girl. Let's see who else is out here. F O B P 132. Always out here. Thank you so much. Let me get my glasses. I can't hardly see. ALG, what's going on? CJ Spino, what's going on? Tycoon, my man. I tell you what, <laughs> I could not. Things just started going crazy. I'm always trying to up the production. I'm always trying to get a little bit better and keep taking this to the to the next level. Always trying to deliver. My green screen wasn't acting right. I was literally fading away, transparent into this thing. Maureen says she can hear the music. Don't you love it? <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll tell you what. Hey, Lisa. On. Schon wieder der Hinks. Also wie immer wie geht's. On wie. Na? Ich freue mich immer, wenn du da bist. Okay. Enough of the music. Let's see. We're going to get going, guys. Thanks so much for joining. I hope I look okay out here. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Just one of them days. Looks like we got 13 people. If you haven't hit the like button, go ahead and do that for me now. If we got any newcomers... Thank you, thank you for so uh, thank you so much for, for joining. We're gonna address you again. Uh, if anyone happened to be out here and I don't know if somehow you found yourself out here, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification so you can be notified because because we go live every Saturday and we upload every Thursday and Friday. And the Saturday stream we usually kind of keep it to one of the topics that we uploaded but this time we went a little different and you know what we did if you noticed in the title uh we're going to talk about lists that's something i don't talk about that much i'm not currently on a list but i have been on list so it's definitely something that i think is worth talking about if you're on a list or if you've been on a list let me know. I'm sort of fiddling around here, guys. Just kind of seeing if I can improve on the lighting here. Uh, let's see. So we're going to get going. 
what we do around here we have a certain uh, a certain mantra that we always share so let's do it real quick this is very important guys good things are supposed to happen to me say it again good things are supposed to happen to me that is the mantra that is the attitude and that is the approach that we take when we come out here and remember it's not over until you win welcome 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 and another thing that we want to do we want to take a look at uh, something that was provided to us by the lovely Miss Sheila let's read this real quick the most common way people give up on their power is by thinking they don't have any from Alice Walker so let's take a moment to ponder that moments up uh tell you what guys before we really get started I want to show you something because this uh, this channel is growing and let me show you what I mean by that give me one second I'm kinda I got a million screens open on my screen uh, but I want to show you something here can you see guys can you see this number right here we are up to 882 subscribers and I want to thank you guys because it could not happen without you so thank you so much and let's let's keep it going we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers uh, that's a that seems like a nice goal to shoot for so here's the deal we're gonna talk about list and you're going to get my take on it and um i can tell you right now what we're going to end up doing is comparing list to tactical arbitrage so we're going to talk about what lists are why they would be beneficial how to get on one but do you really need it i mean don't get me wrong they're good so don't think that i'm going to be bashing list i'm not but we do a lot of tactical arbitrage around here and we want to see if maybe just maybe we're all we're okay in that in that category you know what i mean we're gonna have a ghetto raffle today isn't that fun does anybody know what a ghetto raffle is <laughs> i just made it up let me see in the chat does anybody know what a uh oh so tony's on oa cheddar yes 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 okay we got people on list. <laughs> Tony says it figures there was mistakes with it being my first time. Yeah, sorry about that, man. You just never know with me. You got to remember, I don't just talk about being a, a working class hustler. I am a working class hustler and I'm a truck driver by trade. That means last night I got home. Oh, I don't know. 12 30 1 o'clock in the morning whatever it may have been and then i fooled around because i work for a living just like you and that again if you if you are not subscribed you really want to subscribe and let me let's talk about that just for a little bit before we dive in you know this channel you're going to learn real quick this is not the channel where we talk about quitting your job this is not the channel where we talk about uh mansions and ferraris and boats and planes and all of this type of stuff we talk about just being a regular person and so if you think that an extra 300 500 maybe an extra thousand would make a difference in your life then you subscribe to this channel because what happens in my opinion is this you know you get people talking about all of this fancy stuff and all the money and all the lifestyle well, that kind of forgets about the people who don't want that. Believe it or not, everybody doesn't want that. Some people want to keep their jobs with their benefits and their pensions and stuff like that. And they want something in addition. And we don't want to alienate those people. So that's what we're doing here. Now, let's talk about list. For those of you who are not familiar, what a list is. Okay, obviously, if you're learning arbitrage, it's a lot of work. You have to spend time. You have to be a machine like me. That's why they call me La Machine because you got to be constantly sourcing. It's very labor intense. 
Well, lists, if you subscribe to a list, all of that stuff is supplied to you. You you basically you get uh probably well when I got it, you get an email. And in that email there will be contained a spreadsheet. Okay? So you'll you'll look on your spreadsheet, it'll be an Excel document, whatever it is. And it'll have all of the pertinent information that you would be looking for. There's a list of products in a particular category. The list may promise you, um, on average, a certain return, a certain profit, whatever it may be. And we're going to take a look at some. But uh, it saves you time. So some of the benefits would be it saves you time. Uh, it allows you to see things that you normally wouldn't see. It actually kind of, when you really think about it, if you're on list and a lot of people are on multiple list, what you do is you save those spreadsheets, those documents that you get, because you'll know, you'll, you'll learn real quick in arbitrage. A lot of people tend to move as a herd. We all jump on a listing. We're all reverse searching everybody else's store and we all sort of, and then we forget about what we left because we're busy following everybody else and trying to hop on their listings and smother them. And you basically, if you hold on to your list, you can always go back to those lists. When the rest of the world is now trying to tank another listing, you could be going back to those and getting on those again. So, I mean, there's just all sorts of benefits to it. Um, here's what I wanna know, because we can't just talk about the good stuff, right? We wanna talk about what are some of the, um, what are some of the disadvantages of being on a list? You know, um, I mean, we all, all of the lists are going to say, well, we keep our list limited so that they don't become saturated. Uh, everything ain't all good. This is the real life. So anybody out there, hustlers, if you're on a list, what are some of the things that you don't like about it? I mean, one of the things that I had back when I was on there, sometimes by the time I got to it, maybe the products were gone. Maybe it wasn't enough profit. Maybe the list, I was actually on a list and for whatever reason, it just quit coming out regularly. There was always delays. Um, a lot of times I wasn't, I was gated. Now, of course, when you get on a list, it's going to tell you whether or not it's gated, mixed or ungated. So let me take a quick look over in the chat and let me see if anybody uh, had anything to say. Let me take a look here, guys. Because I'm all over the place. I can't figure out what I got going on here. So bear with me. Whoops. Let's see, did I just. Yeah, I did. I actually closed my tab by accident. Okay, so. <laughs> Hank says ghetto giveaway equals horror store front name is the prize. No, that's not what the ghetto giveaway is. Uh, we'll get to it in a minute. Tony says one of the disadvantages is everybody has access to the same stuff. That's true. Uh, Tycoon says too many on the same list. Hank says I know a couple of guys who created their list using TA. And Tycoon says, we'll get the price to tank. Very, very good. Very true. So let's take a look. What we're going to do. Oh, and by the way, guys, we are up to 20 viewers. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit that for me. Um, tell you what we're going to do. If you, for example, if you've never used a list, let me just close some junk I got. I got so much stuff open here, it's ridiculous. Uh, let's see.
So let's say you came over. I'm going to show my screen here for one second. If you came over and you just typed in Amazon arbitrage list, you'll see different lists out here. And what we're going to do, we're going to take a look. Here's a list from the selling family. By the way, that's a good a good place. Those guys are pretty good. Um, and the way they look at it, see, because you got to understand, guys, this is all about how you view things. That's why it's good to look at what other people are doing so you can learn how they view this thing that we're doing. Uh, this is basically likening being on a list to having a virtual assistant because some people have an, an assistant. You have to teach the assistant how to source for you, and there can be headaches with that. But if we look at the main points, they're saying if you get on a list, you have basically a virtual assistant without the headache. And here's what what we want to look at. Look at here's a quick rundown of how their lead list work. You're getting 15 product leads per day. You're getting ranks of 200,000 or less in all categories. And most of the categories are much less. Some as, le as low as $5,000. $8 minimum profit per item. Return on investment of at least 45%. Not on the IP alert list. Uh, not restricted from the selling family's Amazon account. Shows at least a week of current pricing based on keeper charts. Now, as you can see, there's a waiting list to get on there. Now we're going to take a look at another one. Somebody mentioned OA Cheddar. Okay. I think that's a real good one. But watch this. You got, they have a bunch, they have eight lists according to this. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Limited seats, sold out. Okay. Now, I don't think the other one, they didn't list what the price is. I didn't see it. Maybe it's down at the bottom. Nope. If we go to OA Cheddar, looks like you're paying $150 a month. Does that sound right, hustlers? I haven't been on a list for a while. The last one I was on was probably about $135 a month. I've been, when I was new, and gated, I was actually on a list that was only $50 a month. It was really good. You only got like five to seven leads every uh, three times a week. That was actually pretty good. Uh, but again, let's look at what the main thing is. It's mixed. So you're going to have some gated, some ungated. You're getting seven to 10 fresh leads daily sent to your email. Minimum return on investment, 40% minimum net profit four dollars to twenty five dollars sales velocity 10 plus sales per month okay uh and that's kind of it and i think we got another list let's see essential daily list okay let's look at what what they what their benefits a minimum of 200 Amazon online arbitrage deals per month. List sent to your email, vetted by the pros, wide range of categories. Minimum return on investment 40% and a profit of at least $5 per item. Perfect for part time or full time sellers. They separate their list into sections. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, that's pretty much a look at pretty much what, what all your lists look like. Let me take another look, uh, just to keep up with you guys. I got to keep up with my chat going on here. Let's see. Let me take a look. uh let's see okay so tycoon is paying 149 tony says yup so 
if we stop and we look at a couple of the things there, okay, it sounds really good. I mean, because if you're getting seven to ten fresh leads daily from OA Cheddar, you could be getting upwards uh, 300, roughly 300 deals a month, okay? Uh, and it's just like the other one. Uh, which will, well, that was essential daily deals, you can get upwards 200 deals per month. But guys, I think you already know where I'm going with this, okay? We, around here, we do a lot with tactical arbitrage. So watch this. We're gonna, we're gonna do some sourcing today. And I can tell you right now, just to kind of, kind of stick with things what we're, we're 20 minutes into the stream and um we're 20 minutes into the stream we're going to make this a hard hour because i don't want to keep you guys too long uh <laughs> but yeah see tony tony you you own it baby you you own it always be scanning is basically being on a list it's basically it's like being on a list but you get so much more and you can pare it down. Remember what I said in the video the other day? Think about it, guys. When you get a list, it's not like you just get the list and just start buying stuff. You still got to do the work, right? You got to you gotta do your, your work. Yes, you're getting the stuff shown to you the same way TA will show stuff to you. But then you got to do the work. Okay? So it's you're not saving anything in the realm of work in terms of research okay it might be a little bit quicker it might not what's the difference between opening a spreadsheet and opening opening up tactical arbitrage what's the difference you see what i'm saying you're, you're not gaining anything in that respect what's the difference between having i don't know uh 10 10 list uh, 10 products in front of you or going through thousands having a thousand products in front of you every day and you could pare it down to the top 10 as you as you see it not someone else okay so when you really stop and think about it guys i'm telling you uh i don't know hey my man bam bam What's going on, man? Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. Good to see you, man. I miss you, too. Now, when I say I'm a working class hustler and I work as a truck driver, this is one of the guys that I've worked with for many, many years. And he has earned his way to retirement. Good for him. And if he becomes a working class hustler, he can be making money on top of his retirement. Like the rest of us. Tycoon says using a list will run you'll run out of your cash flow really fast yes i'm glad you brought that up that is so true and i've mentioned that guys one of the things that i run into is running out of of cash that's the issue that i'm having right now because once you learn this and how many times have i taught you i told you guys when you do this business okay once you learn the skill you know the skill you know how to look at a deal. You know how to tell a good deal. And what happens from there? You can't take advantage of everyone. So, yeah, that's a really, really good, good point. Um. Oh, by the way, guys, just so you know, you can contact me. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get this thing out of the way so you can read. So you can read that. You can contact me at that number. Get connected. It's happening all the time, guys. As a matter of fact, when we get off of this live stream, I got somebody already in the queue waiting to um, to talk to me about whatever is on his mind in regards to uh, selling on, on Amazon. So make sure you do that. Now what we're going to do we're going to actually go in to um, tactical arbitrage and we're going to look and see what we can find. We're going to compare this to uh, being on a list. 
And again, guys, remember, I'm not saying not to be on a list. I will probably end up back on a list again myself. But just know if you're using tactical arbitrage, here's, here's what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do at the end of this live stream, we're going to ask ourselves, if we're using tactical arbitrage, is a list really necessary? Let's face it. A lot of the people that make lists, that are providing lists, they're using tactical arbitrage. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not about, you understand, being on a list is about just saving you time. You know, So if you're going to use a virtual assistant, if you're going to jump on a list, or if you're going to use tactical arbitrage, that's all great. But lists cost money. If you're already on tactical arbitrage, the question becomes, is that money well spent? Now, you know the kind of results you're getting from your list. It's certainly worth trying, but you know, I'm not trying to sway you any way. I'm just trying to get you to think and make the comparison. I don't know if anyone, you let me know. I don't know if anyone has made the comparison of tactical arbitrage to being on a list. And especially when you talk about always be scanning. Um, oh, you know what? Before we go any further, we were talking about uh, what's Tycoon saying? I'm sending 20000 into inventory this month. Now I'm broke again, <laughs> waiting every two weeks for a paycheck. Man, if you're sending in 20000 worth of inventory, dude, I think you can afford to wait. <laughs> you killing it, man. <laughs> I want to bring this up, not arguing with you last two weeks. I got a couple of code from my list and running my own TA. Then I saved thousands this month. Okay. I'm not sure I, I get you completely. So you might want to want to go into a little bit of detail for me. Uh, Tony says, I have 204 things in my always be scanning box right now, and that was a free search. Okay, Tycoon is saying coupon code. So you're saying the list that you were on provided you a coupon code or, or what? I'm not sure. But real quick, we're going to have a ghetto raffle later on not too far later but this is what we're gonna do let me show you something uh, I want to show you guys something real quick most of you already know what it is but the thing is this okay I use a program called Tactical Bucket, and I don't use it that much because honestly, you really don't need it. It, it it's more for people if you're, <laughs> I guess I could say, if you're a software junkie. I'm not a junkie, but I do like my 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 share of toys, bells, whistles, things to be fooling around with. Trust me, I'm not even using. TA to its fullest. So I have no business with this, but I got it. Now, one of the things that you can do with Tactical Bucket, you can create these things called bulk lists. And you know, back back in the day, I don't know if people are still doing it, but back in the day, you could buy these bulk lists. And that way, you could upload them into Tactical Arbitrage. And these are lists that are much bigger than what you can create and tactical arbitrage and let me show you what i mean by that so we're going to go into tactical arbitrage and as always for the benefit of those who may not know what tactical arbitrage is it's a powerful software that does all of the legwork and it puts things in front of you you still got to do the work and do the research and the evaluation and use your your mind your brain to figure out what's a good deal but instead of having to manually go to different sites because you can manually do it but instead of having to go manually to different websites, the software does everything for you. And if you if you look at your pricing, <clears throat> 
Nine times out of 10, you're gonna go with the monthly. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna use online arbitrage as far as the package and you can see what all you get based on the check marks and if you sign up on their site you'll get seven days of a free trial if you sign up on using my description down below you'll find it in the description of all of my videos you'll get an additional three days so you'll get 10 days and guys you already know you already know that as far as I am concerned, that is not enough. It's not enough for me to just say, oh, sign up using my affiliate. No. What value? Having having the 10-day free trial and not knowing what you're doing, <laughs> that, that's not good. So we put together what we call a lightning course, and that's just the first one. If you guys have any, that, that video went up, I don't know, was it Thursday? Yeah, I think it was Thursday. Basically, it's just a quick video, and in 10 minutes, you're ready to rock. That way, you can take advantage of the 10-day free trial. You should be making money. What you don't want to do is go into the free 10-day trial and then start trying to figure it out. What do I click? Why is it not working right? Why am I not getting any results? That ain't what we want. So we put together a lightning course. <coughs> Excuse me. That's out there. Matter of fact, hustlers, if anybody had a chance... Uh, to look at the lightning course you don't need it if you already know tactical arbitrage but what are your thoughts in terms of helping the new hustlers and in your experience you know what it's like when you first when you're standing in front of the software there's so much stuff you're not getting results it's frustrating do you think we're hitting on all cylinders coming out with the lightning series for the purpose of helping people get started quickly not just get a, t a free trial go into the free trial rocking okay did that make sense all right let me see what the hustlers are saying about the lightning cause hey thanks for joining Joe's I uh, thank you for joining man uh, let me just go over some of these so Tycoon was saying about his coupon code, buying from the same brand on different products. Uh, Tony was saying that was going to be my next question to you about Tactical Bucket. Well, I wanted an X Path for TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Uh, FOA says, I'm on a list, however, I use it to give me ideas for product to go down rabbit trails found several profitable items this way very very good very very good you can use list to set you on a path and then you can get off of the main path and go down like you said rabbit trails uh the lightning course video was a killer wish i had that when i started ta and we're we're putting together a series guys if you haven't hit the like button please do looks like we're up to 18 users but we're only up to 13 likes uh, Maureen says what's an X path okay so let me show you something here uh, I'll show you what an X path is so what we're gonna do now whoops wrong screen <laughs> um, so if you come in to your member access and if you're going to do a product search so we just clicked on product search and if you're on the advanced tab you open this up and you can see all the websites but if you notice some websites for mine are highlighted in blue those are XPath sites those are sites that you don't get uh, by default when you're in tactical arbitrage you get those when you're signed up to Tactical Bucket and you actually subscribe to a particular site. Now, you can find out all the details about it, but I think you get like two sites per month with the cheapest program. You can add two new sites per month. And I'm not don't quote me on that, but that's kind of like how it works. Now, I have what what they call God mode. So I got all of them. But what if there's a site? that it's not available on tactical arbitrage not available on tactical bucket you can actually with your tactical bucket account you can say hey I got this site 
I want to be able to search it in tactical arbitrage. It's not available. Please create it for me. And and that way you have a site that no one else has. And there's some details about that in terms of how long you'll have it. But you'll have it for yourself, at least for a period of time. So that's the deal with that. I hope I answered that question. Give me one second. Let me. Uh, let's see. Custom ones are like $23. Exactly. You can you can find that out right on the site if you want. I'm not going to get into that today. Uh, we're at 36 minutes into the stream. So watch this. We're going to go over into tactical arbitrage and watch what happens when we talk about uh bulk list multi-site bulk list so watch this so let's say we were gonna we were gonna do i don't know i love target so let's say we were gonna go to target we click that we let this populate I love grocery so we can hit that and as you can see there's a hundred and eighty nine subcategories in grocery over here this is not populated but once we add that to the bulk now you got a hundred and eighty nine you got a max of five hundred now what you could do is yeah I like Walmart Walmart is a great place for me as far as groceries we'll let that populate you start seeing things grayed out because you already got almost 200 you can only have a max of 500 so if that category look at electronics is over a thousand subcategories now I like grocery and I don't even think I can get it because there's just not enough room watch this it could be maybe I missed over it but Watch this. If we go to uh, what's the one store I like to I like to source at uh, Big Lots, and I don't even see it. Maybe they it's gone for now. It could be. Or do I have? No. All right. So we'll go to Dollar General populate that food and beverage that's not that much so you could add that and you'll see that 189 increase and then you might go to dollar tree i love them as well and i might come over to food and i'd add that and we're we're halfway there but again what if we want it Walmart on there so we populate this and we want grocery we want food let's see if I can find it here and and look at you may not want to just stay see I can't even add food I can't add it now I could probably add a la carte you see how we're adding? You can't add the entire category. I like snacks. See, I can't even add my snacks, man. I love snack food. Let's see if I can add. Uh, okay, so if we add that, you see what you see what's happening. You're stuck. You can't get past five hundred. So. what if you wanted a list where you could have more than 500 watch this with tactical bucket you can get into your dashboard and you can go look at multi-store bulk list now i'm not the greatest with this so i'm, I'm not an expert but watch this you can choose either X path or not. That means you would only get X paths, but we want 
all stores from Tactical Arbitrage and whatever expats we're subscribed to. Uh, we'll leave these alone because we'll take them both. We'll say USA. And what if we wanted to do food, right? And we'll let that work. It shouldn't take too long. And while that's working, well, it's already there. Look at, you're looking at 12,697 <laughs> subcategories under food, okay? Now, we, and, and look at these, these places. Now, what you could do, watch what happens here. Okay, so you know I like snack foods now this says walmart keys at one point you had to have keys in order to be able to view certain things under walmart i don't think that's necessary anymore because when you go under your settings you don't see a place to add keys anymore but that's okay because what you could do let's see you wouldn't pick amazon but what you can do is just start checking so let's say uh, in this search that we're looking at you could pick say target if my computer it's kind of locking up because there's so much stuff in there but you might go I don't know I'll just check some stuff. Uh, you might say, well, it's just so much stuff. Well, under target, you might say snacks and let that load. So I hope this is making sense how we're putting this together. You'll kind of see it in a second. We'll let this let this populate. And then what we're going to do from here, we're going to actually go into always be scanning. See what we can find. And then when we have our ghetto raffle, the winner if you if you have you you need to be subscribed to my channel. And you need to be uh, a user of tactical arbitrage in order for this to work. Because what we're going to do, we're going to generate you your own custom multi-store bulk list. And we're going to go through it together, you and I, and figure out exactly what you want. So, for example, you might like cookies and chips. And you see how you just, you, you, you selected one out of 980 under target now we're still in a big search here but let's say so you got chips you got cookies you got i don't know popcorn pretzels you might want jerky and you see how that that's going up now what you could do leave it leave the, the search on snack and then you could come back over to Walmart and instead of keys, look at, so you notice keys goes beyond a thousand, but you might add your trail mix and look at, now you're up to five. You might pick, I don't know, I'm just throwing something in there just to give you an example. And we can just keep going and going and going. And what happens is this, we can save multiple CSVs and then you can load those into tactical arbitrage. And let me show you how you would do that. Watch this. If anybody has any questions, let me know because if this isn't making sense, but watch this. If you have a bulk list, like the winner of the ghetto raffle is going to have a bulk list and it's going to be in a CSV file and what the winner is going to do he's going to come down here 
to import bulk category list he's gonna click that and look at I had a list because I was doing a multi store bulk list on the brand Con Air but here he would upload the file and then go down to the filters as normal so let me let's see um, if anybody has something to say about that before we move on what did I miss uh, let's see Target has a coupon for ten dollars off fifty entire store till August. Very good, very good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, and we're gonna talk about that too. Hold that's a good one. I'm glad you mentioned that. Let me tell y'all something. That lightning course is incredible for beginners, especially just starting out with Amazon, is complete and will instantly get them cracking excellent value. I appreciate it. Guess what, guys? Next week. We're going to be talking about Keeper. And we're going to come out with a lightning course for Keeper. You see how this is working, guys? This, you, you see how this is working? We're just going to continue. Oh, look at that. 17 viewers, 17 likes. That's what I'm talking about. Show me some love. But the value is just there. There's just so much that we can do together as working class hustlers. Wait until the merchandise starts. We get t-shirts, the whole nine yards. And then we'll be raffling that stuff up out okay so what I was gonna show you was this and I'm, I'm just showing this to you I'm not promoting it I'm not an affiliate or whatever I just want to show you a quick trick uh, let me share my screen here. you might remember this we found this on this on the live stream last week and I left it up here because I thought, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to buy that. And I never did. But while I'm here, what we're going to do is this. We're going to refresh this page. Oh, look. Oh, man. Now it's unavailable. We, we need to jump on that. Anyway, well, it's probably not available anymore. It was at Home Depot. Let's see if is it still there. Da, da, da. Available. Yep. Y'all better get on this. Y'all better get on this. Okay, you can always rewind this, catch the replay, jump on this. Let's all jump on and tank this price. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But watch this. I'm going to show you something real quick. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to go beep and watch this. Up in my, um, my extensions, there's something called rev roi now if we're on a website and what and what got me to thinking about that is uh one of the hustlers just told us all about the discounts that's going on at target you see this rev roi if you click on that look what happens this is telling us uh about right now we're on the cash back tab so we can get up to 8% rebate right there on rebates me. You got top cash back. You got beef frugal. I mean, yo, I got to step my game up. You don't even see mine because I, I usually use Rakuten. I got I to gotta, I gotta step my game up. Discounted gift cards. You can get... You can buy from Card Cookie. You can buy discounted cards and save another five percent. You know, but here's what you got to be careful about because sometimes you can't use in combination. For example, if you buy a gift card, there may be a some language in there that says, "Hey, you can't get your cash back with the use of a gift card." Now I know with Rakuten, usually you can. So, and then you got your credit card points if you want to save that way, if you want to go with your miles. But watch this. Let's see how well this works. So we're going to go to Target.com. And let's click and see what happens. Let's see. 
So you got your cash back, you got your your gift card, but it doesn't tell you about your um your coupons. But what you could do is on Rakuten. A lot of times uh they'll tell you that there's a deal. Save sixty dollars, this and that. You know, so you can go through and a lot of times you're going to be or oh, another one that you could use is be frugal. Click on that and it may tell you different savings. This is the one that the hustler just told us about, I think. Right. So just a couple of ways. Remember what I always say. You got to be before you do anything. You got to be looking to see what kind of discount. Uh. code you can have all right uh, so let me take a look here and see where we are okay we're 50 minutes into the live stream which means <laughs> we're gonna go over an hour but working class working class hustlers you know we always go over an hour so Maureen has questions. How do I move Keeper over to the left side in TA? Okay, first of all, if you're talking about the, the, the chart that you're looking at, that's not a Keeper chart. That is a history chart. Let me show you how to do that. And by the way, in my opinion, um, it is just as good as anything else. Because that's mostly what I use. I'll glance at Keeper, but. All right. So what we'll do is this. We're going to view some data. Incidentally, I prefer the basic view. So my view always looks like this. That way I got everything in front of me. But when you have it in basic, it's a little funky for some reason. You won't get all of your results. So sometimes I have to look at advanced. And if you set it up, you'll enjoy it more. So you got the right attitude about wanting to move the chart. Now, what you can do is this. Watch what I'm doing. All I'm doing is taking my mouse and in the history chart, I'm just going to drag it over. Okay. And I can drag it over. To wherever I want it now I don't really that's not the first thing I want to look at so I kind of got mine more out of the way I'll usually get into that if the product is good enough to where I want to get deeper then I'm gonna I'm gonna tactical edge it anyway so what I like is right away am I gonna want to save the item do I want a tactical edge it? What is the estimated monthly sales? I want to see that right away. I want to see what my profit is right away. Because I'm not going no further. If, if this ain't right. Uh, I want the product image on the site right next to the Amazon image. That way I can look right here and I can see right here. This doesn't match. Because this says lamb and this says beef. Okay. My titles. I want to look and compare right away. Uh. I want to look at my adjusted price. See, I have it the way I want it set up, but you can just drag these around and do whatever you want with them. So I hope that helped. Okay, how do we use the cash back sites? Okay, what you do for cash back, you just sign up and then you'll have a, a widget, well, an extension, and then that extension works in the background automatically you activate it before you use it for example let me show you do, 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 do. remember we were at target and you see if i want to use be frugal i'll say activate and then once you activate now it says activate it but you can only use one if i want to use rakuten i'm gonna have to act activate it you see and then it'll activate. And now, once you activate it, 
from that point on, when you put things in your cart or whatever, it'll automatically uh, take care of it. Okay? And you can see, I earned this at Kohl's, Kohl's, Target, whatever it may have been. It'll, it'll, they'll show you what, what your running total is and all of that. And let's see. That's that. Let's see what else we got going here. Because I got lost. What's my, let me get back to my train of thought here. Oh. Okay, so what we're going to do. Well, I'll tell you what we could do. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, da -da -da -da. We're going to. We're going to take a look at my. At my account. We always got to take a look and see what I'm doing because I'm talking all this smack and we got to make sure that I'm qualified to be talking smack, right? So let me get something together. Oops. No, we don't want that. What we want is this. So we're going to come over to my Amazon account and we're going to look at what I've done today. It looks like I've had eight sales in the last seven days. That's what I've had in the last 15 days. That's what I've had in the last 30 days. That's what I've had. We're down just a little bit, but hey, that's the way it goes. I'm not just going to show you things when everything is going good, right? And I ain't really worried about it. And I and if you're a working class hustler, you already know why. You already know why. Because we come down and we look at year to date and we apply that and we see what we did last year for the entire year. And then we look at where we are already for this year and we see that, you know, we may, we'll see. We may double what we did last year, but we've already exceeded what we did last year. And if we were to look even further, it's just been this way year over year. So let's move on. Let's see. Here. We're going to go back to. What we're going to do now, guys, we are going to look at. Um, Tactical arbitrage, and we're going to come right down to always be scanning. And we're going to compare it to a list. What's the difference, guys? What's the difference? Number one, 4,043 items. Okay? Right away, I see a difference. And if you're paying, what are you paying for uh, for tactical arbitrage? About 90 bucks a month? And you're getting this amount of products? And every 28 days, everything that came in 28 days ago drops off to make room for a whole bunch of new things. And your searches are unique to you. Everybody isn't looking at the same thing. And you can come over to your filter manager. And right away, you can figure out where you want to source from. Okay. Uh, you know. I have certain places that I don't like, so I'll just take that out of there. Uh, but make sure that you're on USA if that's where you are. Uh, you can have other countries if you have the keys for that. As you can see, all I have is Canada and US. That's probably what you're going to get unless you get the keys for it. But again, go over to filters, figure out where you want to source from, right? Come down to categories, see what categories you want to look at. Guys, to me, to me, this, <laughs> I'm sorry, this more than rivals 
a list. And I'm not saying that a list is bad, but for anybody who might be on the fence, okay, anybody that might be on the fence, I don't think you really need it. When you're ready, you'll know because you'll already have a certain amount of revenue that's going and, you know, and stuff like that. If anybody wants a particular category, let me know and we'll take a look. We're going to find one product. So whoever speaks up first, we're going to go ahead and source together and see what we can find for you. Brian says, just curious, can you do any of this after all setup? Can you run on autopilot or does it have to be manual? That's exactly what we're doing right here. Always be scanning is on autopilot. Most of the time people talk about setting up scans. So you got all those bells, whistles, buttons, pulls to deal with. Always be scanning. All you do is, okay. F-O-A-B says toys and games, so that's what we're doing. Uh, all you do is come over to, um, hold on a second. Sorry. All you do is come along the left-hand margin to always be scanning, and you're there. And from there, all you got to do, if you're like me, you're going to say, hey, deselect all, and right away... I probably want to look, for example, I want to look at Target. So I'll click that. And if you're like me, right away, you like grocery and gourmet, and you love it because it's replenishable, and you don't sort anything else because you can sort, you can get as granular as you like once you are already looking at your results. For example, uh, when we say, uh, let's see here, sales rank, gross profit, you might want a particular return on investment. So you can put that in here. You can put the range that you want. You don't have to look at all of your results. Okay. So, all right. Now we're going to get into, let's see, what do we say? Hold on. We said toys and games. So here's what we're going to do. We was walking in high cotton. Let's see here. Uh, okay. So, again. Always be scanning. We come over to our filters. We'll reset them. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll select all of those. select select uh, and we'll come down to toys and games All right, is that right no we gotta get that selected This thing's acting weird. All right, let's try that again. Toys and games. All 
let's refresh that sometimes this software gives me fits and we'll come back to filter manager we'll leave those selected uh, category we'll deselect everything come back over here now we got it sometimes you just got to hit the refresh we'll apply that and we're on the wrong one because we should just be on USA and we can start looking Let's see. Now, if you want, you can direct. You see these arrows? You can sort by rank that way. Let's see. And see how your rank is going up? Let's look at this for a second. See, this is a place I wouldn't even think to look at. And right away, the first thing you want to do is see if you're approved. I don't know if you're approved for Funko. I ain't really worried about it. I, I'm not a big fan of Funko anyway. So, Hustler, whoever we're doing this search for, are you approved for Funko? Ain't no sense in looking at it if you're not. But right away, I can see an 80% return on investment. Uh, profit of 941 right away we would see is it really available for 1099 it may be out of stock let's see look at that ah here we go pre-order yeah right i don't want to hear it okay let me just see something here What is the cost of the software? How did you, how did, did this project help you guys? Okay, so you are ungated. All right, all right. Let me just answer a couple of questions real quick and then we'll go from there. The software, it depends on the package that you get, but for the package that you're gonna, you're going to go for most likely uh, you're looking at let me just check the price and I ought to know by now you're looking at $89 a month if you do decide to try it make sure you subscribe using the um, the affiliate link down in the description that way you get 10 days free trial instead of seven and make sure you watch the video that we have it's called the tactical arbitrage lightning course it takes about 10 minutes you'll be ready to rock and roll that way when you get out there you can get the most out of that and let me see what else how did this project help you regards to selling on Amazon how does product save you cost on purchasing items okay we're doing we're doing what's called arbitrage so what we're looking at we're looking for differences in different markets so the software is showing you a particular product at a store at a certain price and it's comparing it to the price on Amazon and if you can and if it sees a profit then it will let you know and who is DK Lions I want to say it's my cousin David is that you I love you bro give me a call we got to talk about this um let's see here all right so back to what we were looking at Let's see. 
All right, so Funko was no good. Now, here's what... The one thing I don't like about Always Be Scanning, you can't look at it in basic. But again, estimated monthly sales, 972. Now, that's across variations, but that's okay. 141% return on investment, gross profit. All right, we'd have to check that. Is this really $73.17? I don't know. First of all, can we get it for $20.99 at Barnes and Nobles? It says yes. Then we'll go back. We're looking at the images to see if we got a match. It appears that we do. Is it really going for $73.16? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look so we'll click in a little deeper we'll filter prime we'll filter new no that changes now there's probably still some profit there but what we would do at that point we'd go a little deeper now here's what we can see right off the bat this hasn't been in stock that long at least keeper hasn't been keeping keeping track of it now, what I might do at this point, I might see if I can um, click into that a little bit better. Uh, now, we could do this a couple of ways. I'm not going to worry about, about the, um, the display right now. I'm just going to take the ASIN. And then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go in. And I'm just going to come down to analysis, tactical edge. This is a longer way to do it because if you have the software, what you could do is right from here, you could come over. Watch this. If you got the software and you went ahead and loaded your hummingbird app right there you could click on it and you could go right into tactical edge without doing it the long way that I just showed you but now you know two ways to do it you'll let this load and here's what you're looking at this is how you start evaluating guys when you see the average rank over the last 90 days when you see the average price over the last 90 days, that's when you can really tell. And of course, yes, you're going to have to consider what's been going on with COVID. But I really don't think that toys really got a big boost. A rising tide raises all boats. But I don't think toys really got that much of a boost during COVID. You might, you may know different. Tell you what. Uh, the pull out our calculator we'll say 2099 well you know what I'm not gonna do that because I don't know what your sales tax is so what we'll do is this we'll just stick in 2099 just to see is there any profit at the current price yes it is now look at look at look at the type of information you have in front of you now Look at this guy's total rank ratings. This dude knows what he's doing. He's all upwards 30,000, okay? He's merchant fulfilled, so you ain't got to worry about him, okay? These these guys right here, they ain't got no ratings. That means nine times out of 10, you're going to be able to, to get this item, okay? Now, when we look, it's kind of hard to have a 90-day rank when the product hasn't been tracked that long. But what we can see is even at this price, you could you should be able to make some money at that rank. It is moving. OK, I don't know. Estimated that many. I don't know. But this is one I would probably jump on. Uh, let's see what else would I look at. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> what's up cuzzo love you boy all right so 
if you are a subscriber to the channel if you have tactical arbitrage and if you want a custom bulk list put together for you the quickest way to do this cuz it's ghetto i'm going to i'm going to think of a number okay and you're going to guess you're going to put in the chat a number and the closest person to that number is going to win remember you have to have tactical arbitrage for this prize to work for you because you got to be able to run your scan okay but of course you could go ahead and sign up if you haven't already for the free trial so you have to be subscribed to the channel and yes I'm going to verify that so you got one minute and I'm gonna start tracking here you got one minute when I say go you got one minute to put your number in there okay you guys want to do this right we'll get better at this later it's ghetto for now okay everybody on your mark get set go <laughs> you got one minute to put your number in Woo. hold on one second while while you guys put your number in the chat I'm gonna go and pick my number While we're looking at that, while you guys are putting that in there, I had a quick question. Let's see. Oh, time's up. Let's see. Let's see. Did anybody take advantage? But before we do that, there's something I wanted to show you that's going on. That's kind of ticking me off. And I want to know if you guys are having the same issue. Get this. Hold on. All right, so we're going to look at my inventory. We're going to come down to my shipments. And we're going to look. Look at today is the 25th of July. The year is 2020. And as of yesterday, July 24th, they're saying that my shipment got delivered. Okay. Let's see here. Now, that seems strange. And let me tell you why. Okay, if you track my shipment, it delivered, according to UPS, it delivered on the 14th, right? 
So it delivered here. And they didn't show it received until here. We're talking about a week and a half. Is anybody else having problems? Um, anybody else having having problems with Amazon as far as how quick they're they're inventorying your shipments? Let me know. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Boy, look at that. We got some we got some people that want this. <laughs> All right. So we got 25, 25, and 21. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So we only got two people. I'll tell you what I'll I'll tell you what I'll do. Since only two people were really interested you will both win so make sure and it's over now nobody put anything in there because i don't want to hear it you had your chance <laughs> now look at him uh, da, da, da. <laughs> she said all right <laughs> now Here's what I want you to do. I want you, if you're already connected with me, then you already know that. If you're not connected, we got to get connected. So you're going to text that number on your screen. You're going to text the words, working class hustler. I'm going to respond and I'm going to ask you for your name. You're going to give it to me. I'm going to respond and say we are officially connected. And then... We're going to figure out what you want as far as your multi-store bulk list. Whatever categories. It doesn't have to be one category. It can, be, it can go across different categories and stores. I would probably suggest we stick with a category. But, um, okay, so we're already connected. All right. Then we just got to figure out how to get the, get the list to you. If you have Dropbox, I can Dropbox it to you. If not, then I'll probably upload it to my um, S3 server. And uh, let's see. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. Look at that. 20 users, 20 likes. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just go over my notes and make sure. Uh, you know, we were going to talk about the Amazon robot because Sheila pulled my coattail on that. We'll get to it next week. Amazon's got a robot that's delivering packages. Of course, this hasn't happened just yet, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about artificial intelligence. And... I'm going to hang out just for a minute or two to see if anybody had any any last questions. And if not, that's fine. Let's see. Cuz it looks like we're at 1 hour and 24 minutes. Looks like Anita says, unfortunately, yes, have had two shipments sent to the Charlotte warehouse and both took almost a month to make it past delivery status. Oh, my God. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Marie says, if I use the always be scanning, how do I view what has scanned so far? Uh, well, that's just it. As soon as you get in it, all of your results that have scanned so far are are there. Um, and then what you want to do at that point is just kind of pare it down and, um, and see whatever it is that you want to see. So does that make sense? Let's 
let's see. And of course, if you need a little bit more assistance, we're connected. You can always text me. We'll hop on a call if we need to. Let me know, Maureen, if that is that's good. Okay, good deal. All right, guys. Make sure you watch that. If you haven't watched the um, the lightning course, the tactical arbitrage lightning course, and you you're new, you need to watch that because you need to be up and running. Okay, a lot of the stuff that's on there. As far as things you can do, you don't really need. And a lot of the stuff that's out there, when you when you when you start filtering too 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 narrow, you just don't get enough results. You can filter once you get some results to filter. If you filter too narrow, you're gonna miss things because there's all types of scenarios to where the software will will not show you something based on your filters when you really could have made money on it. Because the software, it can't evaluate the results for you it can only show you the results based on the criteria that you give it just looks at your query and it says hey he wants this he wants that but if you put in there hey I don't want any more than three sellers and then the software is going to say and I'm using that as an example all right he doesn't want more than three sellers that could have been a product that you could have did well on because upon further evaluation you might have saw some other factors that would have affected your buying decision. You see what I'm saying? So don't filter yourself out of results. Think about that. Always be scanning, guys. That's like having a list as far as I'm concerned. Hey, Mitch. Thanks for coming out, man. That's my boy. Uh, anybody that I missed that I didn't shout out, you know I love you. I apologize. Um, let me see. Oh, you are more than welcome, Maureen. This is what I do. I love it. And my only hope is that I'm giving value and that you get something out of it. Uh, whether you do something with this or not, everybody out here isn't going to actually put this to work. But it is not my place to judge because some people just want to know. Some people just like having knowledge. They love being aware of what's going on and how it works. They're just interested in obtaining knowledge whether or not they decide to use it that's totally up to them sometimes it's comforting just to know I hey I have options I'm, I'm good for now but here's what I could do when I want when the time is right because you're not gonna do it until you're ready all right all right guys music and remember because I can't hear Ugh. I don't hear no music, but oh, here we go. How about now? Yeah. Okay. Remember, guys, this is what to sell on Amazon. I'm your main man, Horace, also known as La Machine. Respecting your mind, your time, and most definitely your grind. I hope I showed you some ways that you could go out, of, out there and get that paper. And now I got to go get mine. So you just enjoy that wonderful music. Get your groove on. It's been a wonderful day. And it's only the beginning. <laughs> you understand? When I get that head moving, you know, them lips. You understand? <laughs> Later, gang. <laughs>